And for the first time in more than 30 years, European producers uh, will respond only to market forces. Uh, this is coming at a time when global demand for milk products is increasing at, at an average of 2% per annum. So the removal of these production constraints in the dairy sector, I think, can be looked upon with op optimism. The market prospects are encouraging, with at least 150 million people entering the middle class each year between now and 2030, bringing almost 60% of the world's population into a middle income bracket. And I know that many producers uh, were expressing some concern uh, about the price of milk in, the, in this context. Uh, I would remind you that we have already seen in 2014 a 5.5% increase in milk production, and that has factored itself into the prices that we have today. Uh, also, I don't expect a major increase in milk production in 2015, arising from the already 5.5% uh, increase in production in 2014. Uh, we have the same milk price on average in the European Union today as we had two years ago. So there's no collapse in milk prices. So the, we continue to have uh, a strong uh, market orientated policy uh, that is reflective, uh, reflecting itself in uh, a very good stabilization of the milk price at about 32.5 cents a litre. Uh, that is about the same price as we had in tw January 2013. Of course, everybody would love to be at the, the very high prices of uh, 40, 42 cents a litre. Uh, which we had for about two months in early 2014. Uh, but that's not the way I'm sure that the dairy pro farmers or the dairy processing sector would have planned their business. There will be a new financial instrument available uh, in all member states if they wish to draw down with the help of the European Investment Bank for restructuring of the dairy industry. We've also put in place the Milk Market Observatory, uh, which will closely monitor the marketplace and give the appropriate price signals in the marketplace to producers and to processors alike. Industry now has to find its way to adapt to the new reality, but we will, as I said earlier, continue to monitor through the Milk Market Observatory uh, the situation as it unfolds in, 20, in 2015 and beyond. But I am fully committed to supporting the continued market orientation of the dairy sector, and I am confident that the industry has a bright and prosperous future.